Hi and good day. Today we're going to talk about the autonomic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system is what happens within the central nervous system. Uh, but it's when the nerves come out, instead of it just going to the periphery, these are the nerves that actually control the somatic, the viscera. They go to the heart, the lungs, the liver, and everything else. But the most important thing I want you to understand is that when we look at these nerves that are coming off uh, the neck area, you can see that they do go to the areas that you may be experiencing pain. But the problem with the autonomic nervous system is you don't normally have pain, you will have dysfunction. So the nerves in the, in the upper neck will affect the throat, the salivary glands. Uh, as you come lower in the lower neck, uh, you can see how it affects the lungs. As you come in the upper thoracic spine, it affects the heart. As you come lower around T6, how it affects into the stomach area. As you come lower down into the upper lumbar area, it affects the urinary tract system. As you come in the lower lumbar area, the urinary tract system, again, the, uh, the intestine, as well as the male-female reproductive organs. Now understand that this network of nerves supplies all the organs and viscera of the body. Even though you may be feeling symptoms of pain, tingling, numbness, that same nerve uh, that's coming off of the spine, as we say in the lower neck, upper back area, uh, mid-back, or actually lower lumbar area, is affecting a different organ as well. So that's why people will complain, you know, I got neck problems, but I'm actually having some asthmatic attacks, or I have lower back problems, I'm always constipated, or I'm a male, uh, and I'm having low back, and I'm having a hard time, you know, with I'm having impotency, or a female maybe having uh, other conditions as well, urinary or other female problem as well. But everything is connected uh, back to the spine. Uh, actually very common, we'll find people who have chronic stomach ailments, intestinal ailments, and all related back to the spine as well. Remember, poor posture, pronated shoulder, uh, bad habits, uh, weakened abdominal area, uh, along with excessive weight gain, causing distortion, weakness upon the body, affecting the nerves, and having other conditions as well. Realize that if you have something coming from the spine and you are getting uh, irritation on a nerve, this is a motor unit, two vertebrae, uh, a disc, and uh, the nerve coming out between. If you're getting pressure on the area, depending upon where it's uh, affected will be dependent upon what area within your body can be affected as well. But uh, the most important thing that you have to realize is that the medicine or medication is not going to correct the causation. You have to get back to proper biomechanics, uh, do the right thing, the right strengthening exercises, which you can look at my channel, and there's a whole lot of great things for forward head posture, pronated shoulders, uh, lower back weaknesses, piriformis syndrome, sciatic nerve, etc. But the most important thing is that you really get back to basics and, 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 and tune into your body and listen to what your body's telling you. Leave your questions below if you have any. And uh, most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.